But first of all, this is a brand new thing, the idea that we're going to uh, elect a uh, crime-busting police commissioner, something we haven't done in this country before. But let's not forget, we think about five million people went and cast their ballots in that vote yesterday. So the people who are being elected, like our Conservative candidate down in um, Wiltshire, who's now the uh, Crime and uh, Police Commissioner, uh, in uh, Difford Powers, where we've with, just with won the, in Wales. Yes, these in people Wiltshire, are being elected. There was elected. a 15 turnout, Mr sure, but we, These people, OK, we'll take his, his example. 37,000 people have voted for him. That's 37,000 times more legitimacy than the chairman of the police authority that he's just replaced. So, you know, of course, it's a slow start. But actually, I bet next time, as more people understand that these police commissioners can actually do something about the antisocial behaviour they might be experiencing at their own parade of shops. I think it will start to sort of become a natural thing. Of course, we want people to vote, but let's not forget five million people did just vote. Yeah, you, and, uh, you, you, a, you might cele start. celebrate wards like Wiltshire as, uh, as being a great success here, but we've just heard from Emily Morgan in South Wales where there was one ward where nobody turned up uh, to vote at all. And we're asking these people to be the voice of local people, make big decisions about policing. They haven't got a mandate. Well, sure, look, I'd always like people to go out and vote. They certainly have a mandate which is, as I say, five million times stronger than the completely unelected uh, chair of the police authority that they're replacing. It would help, of course, if everyone was going out and uh, encouraging people to, to vote. Unfortunately, uh, you know, the opposition, the Labour Party, uh, almost tell people not to bother uh, voting. Well, that doesn't help. They voted against the legislation. That doesn't help at all. Oh. Nonetheless, I reckon in four years' time, when they're up for election and people have seen how policing's been improved in their own communities, a lot more people will engage with the process.